Welcome back to Patinator Plays Shadowverse Take 2. Let's check if we're recording. Yes, we are. Holy shit. Let's go. I actually spent some of the tickets, uh, some of my rupees on uh, getting Wonderland Dreams packs because I actually got a Merlin? I want to say a Merlin. Probably not a Merlin. But anyway, we're going to go with Swordcraft because that's the best one so far. Great. Easy to get a curve off. Great pieces like Captain. I don't know if this is great. But, I mean, it's a free cost 2 free, that's not bad. White Ridge Swordsman, though. Could be interesting. Whenever this follower attacks an enemy follower, uh, destroy the enemy follower before it can deal any damage in a turn. Great card, then. White Paladin, eh, it makes a bunch of 1-1s one with wards. That could be neat, but you're an 8. And that's not necessarily an 8, I'm happy to see. Tristan of the Round Table. I originally thought this was a good card. It is not so. Great. Considering you need a commander in play and we can't guarantee that, it needs to be a follower, although Fearless Banneret or Banner is really good. I mean, it gets an extra character if you evolve something, but I'm gonna take the Ophelous Knight. It makes two one ones, which is eh, is alright. And a free cost fee too. We'll do that. Bladed Hedgehog, though, big fan, but soul whole whole sold swing is amazing. Uh, if you have less followers than they do, it gets a knight and it kills something. Hmm, Numinous Standard for that. Although Ruthless Assassin is basically elimination. And Bladed Head Hedgehog is it too. I might go with this instead. Just get our guys going first. Vagabond Frog is great. Has Ambush. Also, Konoichi Master is also an okay 5 drop. Uh, I think I'll go with this. Add to our 3 drops. Grimnir. I think he. it's the clear winner here. It's a good 10 closer. Ah, oh, I would like Shield the Flame and another Hedgehog, but because this guy gets big, this guy can deal six if you have an ambush in play. But Monica, Cloud Hall Admiral, is pretty strong. Evolve, deal X damage to an enemy follower. X equals the number of allied followers in play. Minimum of two, because she summons a friend, so this is fine. And Gino, Jano, Jano, Wolfhead, uh, Levin Vanguard has Rush, and if you play him for six, he can summon two babies when he dies, which might happen, because he's a 4-3. Let's pick that. Need more 2 drops though. Axe Destroyer, so good. Destroy an enemy follower amulet. Sword Whip made. I mean, this is not a great 5 drop because it just gives plus 1, I guess. And Sword Whip is okay. And Forged Weaponry is not necessarily amazing. It just gives plus 2, plus 2. But since we have the frog, that might be worth it. And Axe Follower just deletes something when it evolves. So it's not a bad pick. Although we are feeling a little high end. Rapunzel and Goblin Breaker Tina. Uh, big cards, especially Tina who can. Deal 5 when to a neutral follower if she is evolved, so we're gonna pick that. Give me 2s and 3s. This is not bad. Ascetic Knight is like a shitty goblin leader. 7 to Heavy Knight, I believe it's another one too. Yeah, that's fine. More 2 drops, please. Uh, gonna have to pick these guys. Ephemera is a game breaker and a game winner. And Goblin Mage can let us reset our field because it summons a 2 drop. Oh, rough call. Kiss of the Princess is not great, we need a neutral follower to target it, but Naval Guard Simone does give us a a adjustable play, but I'm going with a quick blader and the Ninja Master, that seems alright. Ooh, Luminous Mage is amazing. Can evolve shit for free, can evolve commanders for free. And she she spams the board too. And Ogre Hunter Momo is, is really good. Can kill anything that's big for free, sure, I'll take it. But we do need more twos, and as much as I would like another Ephemera, I will go for Wandering Bald Elta and Angel of the Word just to shore up our early drops. Our early drops are looking pretty... Un not good. Uh, since we have a bunch of things that spawn at 2, White General isn't so bad. Plus 2, plus 0 to an allied officer follower could give us the tempo we need. Little Blitz Lancer does have Rush. I'd pick this, but we need more twos. We need more early game. Sahakiel, Cinderella! I mean, that is interesting because these are kind of crap. Technically, though Cinderella just doesn't play well with others. She just bounces back to her hand when we play another uh, Swordcraft follower. But she is a commander, and Sahakiel, I mean, we don't have a lot of big ticket neutrals, so she might not do anything. She might just be a bad 7. And Rogue's Creed isn't necessarily great. We only have one frog. If we had more frogs, I'd, I'd play this. But it's not great. And a free cost 4 4 is probably good enough. Alright, I don't know how this is gonna turn out. But it'll, it, it'll be something. It'll exist. We do have one quick blader, and if we're very, very lucky, and if 
Aren't Jesus hates the other guy, we'll always draw it. What are you sitting on, madame? Yay! This does have a very forgiving, uh, whatchamacallit? What are we, what are we first? You Power second. Alright, that's fine. This we don't have a lot of top end, family. so this might be a problem. Uh, let's go look for twos. We don't have a lot of them. Oh, see? Our in Jesus hates them. But unfortunately, we didn't go first, so this could actually be bad for us. Don't do anything. Don't play with dragon. Don't play with dragon. Yeah, quick later. Go. No two drop. Could be a problem. Whee! It has storm and is a 1 1. That's like a raging goblin. Go back to classics, man. Well, give me a two. Oh, yes. That's perfect. Now we've got a board and we're going fast. Gotta go faster. What do, what do you do? Allied officer's resistance to damage. Should have been quicker. Uh, so they can't pinpoint damages with this, but Angel of the Word gives us tempo. Gonna smack that. Go here. Yeah, originally I was gonna play Captain Licia, but if it didn't kill anything on a board, I would probably would have played it to force him to play, uh, to run into our dudes. But since we would have had to run two people in threat, I elected to play Angel of the Word. And just let me know if the, the sound effects are a little soft. I, I, I think they're a little soft. Oh. That's expensive for him. I mean, this will live. But we don't get to use its uh, evolve thing, which is fine. As long as we, you know, if he has to spend his evolve first, if he blinks first, we should be fine. Goblin Mage should give us another two drop to play anyway. So we'll have people to play. Hippocampus? He's probably not going to do anything. Yeah, that's that's fair. Cinderella? Do I want to save shit? Let, let's find out what we get with Goblin Mage. Yeah. Jimmy! Wandering Bard Elta. This might be worth it. Just to preserve our board and keep applying pressure to face. Please lend me your ears. I did not... I, I forgot that he doesn't do that. But he he's actually turns into a free free. So this was a mistake. But maybe, maybe we'll cancel some of their effects. Fuck, that was a mistake. At least we'll cancel some effects. And admittedly, it's not that big a deal, but that mistake could be costly. Also, he's not playing anything. I'm gonna call this a, a good thing for everybody involved. No fanfare, though, is probably good. Man, I should pay attention to those numbers. Yeah, he only gets a 1-1. One, one. If he, like, it was 4, we could have killed that other dude without having to run Lino into it. But Cinderella, I don't know how to use you in this context. Run away! Run away! Ow. Do not play Cinderella first. Play Axe Destroyer first. And a one, and a two. Technically, we didn't even need to do that. He hasn't used his evolved points, which concerns me to a great degree. He also appears to have drafted Ramp, which means there's a lot of bad things waiting for us up there. Fortress Crab. That's really bad. Six, though, so Tina can kill it. You should kill this. I mean, you should kill this. Yeah, that's the one. Ah! Tina, at least, will save the day for us. Oh, fun employment is the best. Focus on your inferno, Tina. Wait, he shoots things, right? Yeah, shoot that for two. It won't be long now. now we have a four or five and a dead crab. Does it make? Does it do anything? It makes another thing. That's fine. It makes more crabs. That's a little distressing. Especially since it can attack again. But we just need to keep things under control until Grimnir can go in and finish this for us. If he evolves again, I think we're fine. He might not want to. Because... What does he turn into? Another 6-8? Yeah, we can kill that. We're technically okay. Oh, we're definitely okay. I'll play Ephemera. And technically, I should play Cinderella because she's bigger, but I might want to protect my board. 
one you can and get the two. You can get this one. I actually expose her. Keep her for just to get the extra damage in. Because Grimnir, if he we hit the if he drops to to four, we win. I think we do. Ogre Hunter Momo will give us the win. She kills anything that has five or higher. Because she gets Bane. And now we kill him. You can get this one! You can get this one! Fun employment is the best. And she's a little busted. Well, not really busted, but she's amazing in draft. She just increases the value of everything we play, and we have a lot of things that spawn other things, so it's it's all good, basically. That's that's where the end of the sentence is. I came home at 12 this morning because I watched uh, Homecoming yesterday, and the only showing was like at 6 p.m., and then at 9.30, and then I had a Zbarro's dinner and went home. It was fun. It's, it's, a, it's a fun movie. I'm not going to say it's revolutionary, but it does show off the little experiments they do in terms of plotting. Could be good. Running into a lot of dragon craft today. Is that the is that the new oh, thing for Lord take two? Because we're not do, having a great time in. That's fine. Well, I'd like a two. I just want to keep a three just in case. Forge weaponry doesn't really do a lot for us if we don't have a two, which is why I didn't want to draft it. Do nothing. Yay! You did it. Good job. Oh, well, we have another turn to to look for a two. Please give me a two. Or we're we're in serious trouble. Yep, he played something. He got problems. Two. One is not good enough. I'll play it stupidly. Probably should have kept it behind. We can play it on a five with this. And support cannon isn't necessarily gonna make me happy. He's gonna clear this. Probably should have kept it in hand. Small mistakes can lead to the end of the game. Fortunately that's a two one. Should have been quicker. Are you ambushed? No, just Bane. Not good enough. Well, he's got card advantage now. Definitely a concern unless he passes. And we might have to play Ephemera. And use her to attack. Never a good sign. But we do have Gino. If we can hit something that doesn't get... That's amazing. That is probably a mistake for him. Like, that's a big mistake. Unless he has a lot of clear. I did this because I'd rather have him a 2 rather than uh, this guy be a 2. I'd rather have a bigger guy be healthier. Support cannon though, what can we do with that? Maybe if we had time, we don't have a lot of... I just didn't have anything to draft. But, so I picked it. Nice shot. That's... That's devastating to our cause. And this does not get big, Pat. Don't, don't, don't make that mistake twice. Ow. Rapunzel, though. Okay, so we can make you a free free and run you straight into that guy's face, but I don't think that's the way we want to do this. Alternatively, we can drop a support cannon. Do we have any commanders? We can actually check with this button, which is super useful. We don't even have a lot of uh, followers, so. This will at least make him think. Rapunzel into Wandering Bard. Thank goodness you're free and you can get that dude. And a two! Ridiculous! Ridonkulous! Give me my commanders. Come on, game. I don't even have a lot of card draw, I think. So we could have problems. Especially as we haven't really hurt him a lot. And, you know, Rapunzel. Land Whale! Ah, uh, concern. Immediate fucking concern. Give me... I don't know, you're an officer. You don't have Storm. Which is bad. I have no way of dealing with that right now. We can make you a 4-7, but we need something to attack with you. I do not want to play this and run into that. But I actually feel like I don't have a choice. Yeah. It won't be long now. The question is, do I make Rapunzel bigger? I, my hands dirty. I think we don't make her bigger yet. Oh. Why? Because I'd rather have something that can attack with her, but I don't need to evolve. 
Cause she she keeps needing uh, she keep, she needs to be unlocked to keep fighting. Snacks ah check. shit! Check. That's really bad for everybody involved since we can't attack her. However, if you give me a commander, which she did not, which is still fine, I'm just gonna shoot this one. Let's go into fun employment. Yes, this is fine. Although, this is a strong engine if you can get it going. So what do you want? What do you want to do? I feel like that would chafe you. Look at how that armor rubs against your skin. Would you do anything to win? Oh, okay, we've got problems. Well, we always have problems, I suppose, but if he doesn't attack this turn, we, we've got... We're okay, I guess. Yeah, we're sort of okay. Oh, froggy boy. I wonder if he has a sweeper. I want to play this now so I'm f my mana is free for other turns. I mean, not that we have any higher plays, so this might have been a mistake just in case I have a sweeper, but most of the sweepers deal 3 damage or 5 to something visible. So if he does have Breath of the Salamander, these two are going to stay alive, which will allow us to deal 4, 5, 6. If we evolve it, 7 damage. See, that's fine. Ah, oh, the journey ends here. I think we keep her safe. You could have been useful a turn ago. I'm gonna try to tempo him out, but we don't actually have that choice. No guts, no glory. This is bad. This was meant to be. I gotta kill that. Hey, we did. I think we have to destroy this or we end up going to die, maybe? It all ends here. We could have deleted one of these, but we're not exactly in the best spot. So I have to kill this. And with a two damage thing, kill that because of support cannon. And we're good. Okay, now we gotta go face. Because Red Rage Worm can turn into a 10 10, dies at the end of the turn, but still could give him lethal if we're not careful. So I'd rather def uh, protect ourselves right now. He needs to respond currently. And if we luckily draw into the rest of our commanders, maybe we'll even be able to control his board. Oh no! Oh no! He can make it bigger. He can make it better. Ready to witness my true strength? Oh no. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, he can't kill it. Can only do two damage. Oh, that's not what we wanted, but it is something we have here. My blade, your tomb. Mentally, I I think I've checked that, but he still needs to keep controlling this. Come on, I have some commanders. I believe in you. You can bring yourselves out. Okay, we're we're a little fucked. Like hardcore. Like bad guy gets big whenever they don't spend anything. Eight, nine. We are leaving. That's unfortunate. I should have foreseen this. Should I have gone to face? Now that I know what he has, I probably should have gone to face. That's all right. Next one. I only want to win three. That is my, you know, minimum. Because at three, it's sort of worth it. Four is better, but three certainly is more realistic. Considering I've only been playing this like two weeks, three weeks. I mean, a lot. I've also played this a lot in that time, but. Still. Oh, imprisoned dragon. Look how majestic he is for being imprisoned. More dragons today? First pair. Alright. Haven is you generally so Wow, we we live on the second turn now. All you know? I think I wanna toss you. Let's gamble. Let's see if we get it too. Do not do this ho at home. Do not do this cool thing that I do. I probably should have tossed Goblin Breaker Tina. What you got? Hopefully you pass. Don't do that thing that summons a falcon. Falcons are evil. I mean, we were going second. Technically, this was an okay call. Should have tossed Tina. <laughs> I believe in you. Give me a two. Give me a two. I play something with one star so I can eventually snipe it with Angel. Oh, Jesus. He has a two. 
I have a quick leader. You know what? Not making bad mistake again. We're gonna let this guy sit. Just we're definitely gonna get for try to get the advantage here. Some guy. Well, they can kill it, and we can snipe it with something uh, with Goblin Breaker later, or even with a Quick Blade. So I think I'm actually gonna play Grimnir. Protect our face a little, force them to run into it. Since we do get to not teleport, evolve next turn, we can try to sweep the board. Although this is uh, this is not good enough because we're not gonna kill anything with Angel of the Ward. We can set up a kill, but we can't guarantee it. And I don't think we're at the point where we need to set things up yet. We have a curve, quick blade. Maybe RNGs is neat. Whoa, that's a tragic move. There's a lot we can do here. We might not even need to use this now. Nah. You know what? Might need to use this later. It's too strong, a. I'm not sure if this is the right play, but it lets us preserve our points. And I'm developing an obsession of that. This is going to be, you know, the equivalent of Igni and Gwent for me. It's just going to be, I, I got to preserve the points, man. Got to be efficient. And we didn't need to do it. We just need to spend some cards, which is great that he missed us for. Because if he plays a big neutral, we can kill it. And that's a big advantage. No, that's also bad for me. Are you a neutral? I'm gonna kill you. You're done for. He's gonna shoot this, bring it down to four. Should have been quicker. Okay, do we have any way of killing it without? No, we don't. We also have no way of playing two dudes. We do, we do, we do, we do, we do, we do. So we're gonna take some damage. These guys are have ambush. Then we're just gonna let that one go for a better turn. It's an experiment to be sure, an experiment that might not pay off. In fact, it only pays off if you draw two drop, maybe. In the hour of crisis, An eagle! Are you neutral? No. Well, that's kinda better, isn't it? You'll all be crushed. Uh we delete the Ooh. Delete you. you are done for. Oh, it's last words. It's last words. My mistake. Oh no, what have I done? It's what have I done? What have I done? Oh no, what have we done? We have fucked up. I fucked up. Oh, I thought it would banish it. Oh, that's okay though. No, we're alive. We're okay. And this is already evolved, so it can't deal for the damage to us again. Oh, at least, at least we controlled the board. Shit. Fuck. Oh, my heart. Oh, Jesus. My nuts. No glory. Are you neutral? I'm gonna kill you. Mistakes were made. Uh, I can play you. And this, this thing gonna explode. So at three, we have also you. Let's spam the board. I'll kill you. It won't be long now. And I'm gonna go efficient on this. In instead of like keeping myself alive. Oh, that was a mistake. Oh, Jesus, what have I done? I've thrown away the game so hard, but you think that I was getting paid to throw away games. But we don't have a lot of burst in theory, unless we drew into a lot of burst during the Take Two draft. In which case, suffering will ensue. I should have thought you were a 2 1. Hmm. Now that's an experience showing through. Although, if he does, we can try to wipe it with Angel of the Board and Ninja Master, or even a White General. Kind of small, though. Plus two? Yeah. I mean, if he goes straight for face. If he goes straight for face, we've got bigger problems. Don't tell me how to fight. That's a problem. Lucius, I'm sorry. Ah! Well, we've got this. Okay, so I can... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so I need a 4 on this... ...to kill it. 
Shoot that. Play Luminous Mage. We trans we evolved this for free. That was not done in the right order. None of us, all of us, is suffering now because we could have had a full board. Mistakes were made. Oh Lord, help me! Mistakes were made. I need to wake up. Give me some water to wake me up. Wake me up inside. She's looking for that free damage, like, I have to be able to finish him. That's true. Odds are you can't finish me, but we do have several commanders we can- Oh, shit. Dog, what up? I think that's it. Because this thing is going to turn into a 7 when we attack it twice, if we have survivors, which we don't. That would be all she wrote, I suppose. That was two misplays that killed us. My bad, learning experience. We're just gonna get better than that. Oh man, blowing up that tin dude. Okay, let's try to play the last two better so we can actually make this worth the ticket that was given to us for free. So I don't know if it's actually worth it. Yeah, that's gonna be the schedule. Like, if I have, if I, I can afford Take Two stuff, I'm just gonna play Take Two until I can't afford it. Basically, waiting for opponent. Don't keep me white hung. This thing keeps things from getting banished, which is kind of neat. It's a nice tech choice, but it's a predictive uh, tech choice most of the time. You must die. All right, don't keep force. Stand back. I have this covered. Keep this. This is all okay. As long as we have a drop, I'm marginally happy. Also, we went first. So we'll get our four down faster. Oh, there you are. We've been waiting for you to show up. If we could get anything that isn't a wandering bard, uh, I'd be... Okay. My face. Hmm. Seeing as this is our... Okay, I guess we're doing this. <laughs> uh, if he plays Owl, Owl thing that kills anything with one uh, attack, I, I'll just play Angel of the Word. Work from there. This gives us a lot of power. I doubt that this is going to go straight from. Yeah. You wouldn't. You wouldn't. Please, Mr. Two. They did not, but we are going to get a huge tempo advantage. Or at least we're going to kill a lot of stuff. Shoot that. Bladed Hedgehog gets bigger, becomes a 2 3. Smack area. And now it's a 3 1. Unless he plays in a, uh, his own Angel of the Word, then maybe we'll have problems. I should probably start going for face early since we don't have a lot of endgame. But that'll really depend on where, how good his drops are. So the 2 3s, we have those managed somewhat. My blade, your tomb. My blade, your tomb. Ooh. Let's set this up early. And we'll likely kill whatever he tries to throw at us. Uh, whatever he evolves. Since they can't attack Ephemera. Unless they've got removal, which is entirely possible. We can have that thing. That bit, that uh, whole sold swing. Swing, yeah. That's that's the word. We do have Cloud Hall Monica and White Ridge Swordsman to kind of protect us. And employment was the best. Monica is also a huge thing, especially if they play two things. We also she can also deal four damage when she evolves. She looks like she's from the titty version of, ironically, I guess the titty version of Dynasty Warriors. I forget what the name of it. Oh yeah, we're still gonna kill that because that transforms into a four-four. Good job, Hedgehog. You the best. Excellent. Why excellent? Uh, 
it's not full value because we don't get to hit anything with this but I'm gonna not attack with ephemera we're just set up to ruin whatever he drops well except maybe that it's actually okay with us very happy we didn't do this Okay, so how do we deal with this? Quick, we play Tina. Focus on your inferno, Tina. Tina lets us blow up this guy. It won't be long now. If my brother can, I can. Keep well, Bane from beat mattering, and then we can punch can this. What do you turn into? 3-5? Yeah. No Might have been better to just go straight for face fair, but he's got an evolve and I want to limit the number of things he can number of things he can do to us. Not sure if that was the right call. Might might have been might have been better to go face, considering we would threaten lethal, I think, next turn. But he's got yeah, we we had limited resources, he's got two of these. Yeah, and she, he's just going to regenerate his, his board right now. At least we can destroy it with Momo. Why not even need to if he goes for this? Are you Rush or Storm? That's Rush, I think. That's just fair. I think we just need to control Fina and then we can go straight for face. Indeed. Now, do I want Momo to kill this? No. No, I don't. I don't need to. But no we will kill this. It's not efficient, I know. You can, get this one. you can get this one! Let's protect our board. With Bane. Upon the white red sword. This is fine. Might have been better to drop Goblin Mage, but... Eh. I like the fact that we can protect our 4-4. Four -four. We can protect Tina. Who lost clothes as she evolved. I wonder if that is the next step in our evolution. Just stripping. Maybe we won't have a need for clothes. The fashion industry would be devastated. We'll be all like, We're all super strong now. The elements do not affect our skin. I should have foreseen this. I don't know if we made mistakes in that one, but I do know that there were some ways we could have gone in one direction or the other. Oh yeah, if, you, if you're thinking about playing this right now, now's a good time. They're giving out uh, 10 packs over the next 10 days because we're 10 million downloads. Not me, personally. Shadow Shadowverse is a, a 10. And she and a samurai made. See you on the other side. I guess that's a song. Could be a thing. He's using a feather, a bladed feather as a weapon. Hard to agree to disabuse him of his notions of seeing us on the other side, seeing that he is confident enough to use a feather as a weapon. Made to kill. Ah, ha, ha, ha. I get it. Ah, oh, my neck my is family. stiff. Uh, strictly okay. I would keep Angel the word. I misused you, madame. I'm sorry. Yeah, we'll do better. All right. Depends on what he plays. If he plays like the the dragon, the one-two dragon, we're not gonna play Oathless Knight because that's just that'd be silly. Currently, this is okay. This will allow us to distribute our damage better. Uh, to better work with Angel of the Word, could also account. Uh, could also you know add up to nothing. But I feel like it's better than Wandering Bard Elta, which we can use his evolved thing for something. Super. This worked in our favor because now we can control the board only cost one dude punch that guy in the face I always kill the, the spawn dudes because they tend to share a name and there are some cards that kill things with the same name in fact there's only one card that does that hungering horde deals free damage to target follower and all followers with the same name oh enemy followers at any rate still I mean, it's actually a blood card, so it's actually still to play around it using that, but it fundamentally doesn't change anything. Also good for us. Especially since Gino is here. 
and we can command the board. They have ways of dealing one damage, but I believe it's a five drop. So we'll we'll think about that. We'll we'll try to play around that later. And by try, I mean probably not. Hell, we can even stuff it down with a wandering bard since fanfares don't activate. Yeah, I don't want to sweep my board. Is it worth it though? Maybe. We'll see. Hello, Momo. Young ogre hunter Momo is a murderer. She's really good at killing stuff. No, please don't. Nice fucking shot. Be gone. It, fool. What? Ah! Well, the good news is I have a free. Hmm. My allies, my friends. Lovely day for a fight. Lovely day for a fight. Okay, free four. Let's do this. Where is Ephemera? Ephemera would be amazing here. I mean, she's been behaving, so I can't really complain. I can't complain, however, that we are running a bit slow. Axe Destroyer for the next one, or whatever you place. That's not really what we want to see. That's fine. We have an Axe Destroyer just for that. Or maybe a Momo would have been better, but... I can't believe she kills something and then gets bigger. I can't, because evolving just gives them rush. We could have played Momo, preserved it, but whatever we're here now, and we're threatening 9 damage. 10 with Quick Blader, so I think I'm gonna go straight for face if he doesn't present a threat. I mean, we can delete the threat with Ogre Hunter. When does this happen? That's an important question. It won't be long now. Doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> Especially if he goes for bang. this. Because the question is, I, does he get the plus one plus one before clash happens? And will Ogre Hunter Momo just die? Excellent. I think we Momo this. Momo murder and Lucia to protect our board. Let's speed things up. Too slow. Well, from targeted damage anyway. And he'll have to use that evolve to kill something. Probably her. Wow, this is... I did not do that in the right order. I thought it was a consistent effect. Apparently it's just a fanfare effect. So I guess he can burn her quick later, which... Well, not cool. Is... I mean, not that detrimental. Mind you, we are gassing hard. If we can find a way to kill you and then the rest. I think we win. <laughs> no, we don't. He can attack this for six. Time to say goodbye. Two, three, four. Today's my day. Ah! Mm, we got problems. Frog first, Cinderella second. I need to settle down. The sweepers deal free, but he has an extra one. Maybe he can burn out Cinderella. Mind you, this is far from over. It's starting to look a little more over. Such a good card. Free cost far, far. Mm, very big, very strong. Crab hands. Regardless. So, that was an okay, that was an okay run, I guess. We just fucked up that one round. Could it be a 4 0, but that's a 4 1, but that's okay. Oh, happened, learn experience. And we got a lot of rupees out of just accomplishing daily quests. Oh, I won four matches of Sword and Death. No, I didn't. I won three. Lying bastards. Well, I mean, 80 rupees isn't bad, but. So, considering we have 345. Uh, Rupee Roos, I think we're going to stick around uh, with Take Two for a bit. Although I am playing uh, Ladder in the background. There is that. But I, I opened 
shit, I'll show you later, but I, I opened something interesting and I just spent my stuff on it. Fury, what do you do? It's a gold. And then if you turn, deal one dash to enemy leader and draw a card. That actually sounds amazing. May the world resist. So, why isn't she using- is she actually too slow at this rate? Night Horde, that's interesting, more bats. Rain Devil, pretty art. I am not jumping at that window. Skull Cradle Widow, what are you cradling there? Did her boobs get shinier as she evolves? White Knight, alright, we're good. Hold on a second here. What is it? It's a- it's a Runecraft Legendary, it's a really strong one. Uh, rune? Legend? Yeah, I got a Wizard of Savas, that's the one. So I used my like the rest of my vials just to make a second uh, to make a set, and now oh, I kind of want to be Runecraft. Yes, indeed. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, you can subscribe to the Dark Prophet Cloud channel. To so don't miss a thing. While waiting for your next episode, you can like the video, you can share, you can leave a comment, you can do all those nice things and more. But you don't have to do anything. I say, not the boss of you. Who I am is Panator. Whew. I'll see you later.